welcome back to my channel firewall again let's understand how HTTPS inspection works with the help of checkpoint technical guide uh, which is freely available on checkpoint firewall side with the name best practice HTTPS inspection guides as you can see on your screen so once you log into the checkpoint site and come to this uh, guide the content you will see as you can see on a screen I, and i wanted to you know elaborate how you can read this content and how you can interpret how the things works there are too many documents available here as a technical reference guide uh, if you want to really go become a good in a checkpoint firewall you have to go through all these documents this video will help you through uh, how HTTPS inspection works in the checkpoint firewall thing and uh, it will also help you to understand how you can read and interpret the documents which are available on a checkpoint firewall site. So let's begin. As you are seeing here on the screen, the best practice HTTPS inspection guides, they have divided that guide in a different stages one is your introductory part what is HTTPS inspection how it work what are the phases are there then what are the best practices available uh, to configure your HTTPS inspection with respect to your firewall and, and your network they also given you the additional information regarding the HTTPS inspection these are useful when you are going or doing drill down into the HTTPS and you wanted to have a you know a strong security and then how you can optimize your performance and lastly they provided you how you can do the debug with respect to the HTTPS and their handshake process okay now let's understand what they have specified with the introductory part so they are saying HTTPS internet uh, traffic uses the TLS transport layer security or SSL secure socket layer protocol which is encrypted to give data privacy and integrity however HTTPS traffic has a possible security risk and can hide illegal user activity and malicious traffic with HTTPS inspection the security gateway can inspect the traffic that is encrypted by the HTTPS the security gateway is a certificate and become an in intermediary between the client computer and the secure website all data is kept private and HTTPS inspection logs only administrator with the HTTPS inspection permission can be see all the fill in the log HTTPS ratio of internet traffic is constantly growing however the malicious attacks dangerous web activity and data loss can hide away from the inspection of the security gateway under the TLS layer Therefore, it is recommended to enable HTTPS inspection to improve security. By enabling HTTPS inspection, the security gateway will inspect the encrypted part of the HTTPS traffic. The HTTPS inspection rule basis set of rules used to define which HTTPS traffic will be inspected by the security gateway. The inspection will be performed by all of the software blades that supported HTTPS inspection and they are application control, your filtering, IPS, data loss prevention, DLP, antivirus, antibot threat emulation, content awareness. Basically, uh, Checkpoint is trying to say how HTTPS works and what is HTTPS inspection all about. So basically, in a short, the HTTPS inspection is nothing but the inspecting the packets, which is encrypted by various encryptions based on the uh, certificate those packets get decrypted and firewall itself gives the flexibility to look into those packets look into the content of the packet and accordingly you know take the decision the decision is based on the policies the policies which are applicable and you can you know uh, perform using these different sort of plates like application control, your filtering, IPS, data loss prevention, antivirus, antibot, threat emulation, content awareness. And then the HTTPS inspection, 
how it works with the checkmark firewall so they have a two approach one is inbound and another is outbound so basically what is inbound in a layman term inbound is something where the connection from the outside world that connection is initiated to the out from the outside world and it come to your internal network outside to the inside right that connection is you call it as an inbound connection so say you have a client which is located at the internet side anywhere in the world and your servers are in your network in the DMZ servers and the connection from that client to your server is getting initiated that is inbound connection so let's read it what they are trying to say here with the inbound inbound HTTPS inspection protect internal server for example data center and web servers from malicious attacks coming from the internet inbound connection or HTTPS connection that start from an external client and connect to an internal server in a DMZ or the network the security gateway compares the HTTPS request to the HTTPS inspection rule base if the request does not match a rule the packet is not decrypted if the request matches the inspection rule, the security gateway uses a certificate for the internal server to create a HTTPS connection with the external client. The security gateway creates a new HTTPS connection with the internal server. Since the security gateway has a secure connection with the external client, it can decrypt. The HTTPS traffic, the decrypted traffic is inspected according to the policies. And the flow of the security gateway is as follows. A intercept the request b use the server's original certificate and private key to initiate a tls connection with the client create and establish a new tls connection with the web server using the two tls connection decrypt the encrypted data from the client inspect the clear text content for all blades set in the policy encrypt the data again to keep client privacy as data travel to the destination server behind the security gateway. So in short, what they are trying to say, when you enable the HTTPS uh, with your gateway, obviously HTTPS is more of work on a certificate basis. So when you enable the HTTPS connection, the gateway itself try to communicate with your client for example this is the inbound so the client is at the internet side and internal servers which is at your internet network which is at your dmc or whatever uh, network which is behind the actual your firewall gateway so with the certificate which you enable when you enable the stps i will show you that part as well with that certificate what gateway does that way create a secure communication between your internal DMZ server, whichever it is in your internal network, one connection with the, your internal server and the one connection with your external client, which is at the public site. That two connections are something which is you know useful for the communication which is encrypted and those communication need to be get decrypted so basically what happens the client sends whatever the data encrypted data it has to the server but your firewall interpret that data i mean capture that data of course the data is passing from the firewall and having the certificate in place, the, uh, the client is, you know, uh, accepted that the gateway is legitimate gateway because the certificate with the server and the gateway and the client is interchanged and they got matched. Based on the private key, the gateway itself, you know, open those connections, I mean, decrypt those connections and we have the flexibility to see what is in that connection what data is traveling to the server right and once that part is done obviously the policy is what we have you know applied based on that that decryption will happen 
if the connection is decrypted and whatever the things based on the policies got done then again those connection gateway encrypts and it's sent to the your internal server in that way you will be having a more security to having a visibility on that uh, packet flow and this is something is explained here if you see these boxes so https request firewall inspect respect uh, request matches a rule yes for example the whatever the HTTPS inspection rules you have created with this particular different blade if those matches yes use your server certificate and connect to the client so whichever the server certificate you have already established with or already created from your gateway using that the connection get established with your client which is at the internet side then create a new connection to the server that is another connection which is required to have with the gateway with the server having those details in place the decrypt the connections which gateway wanted to see from the packet because of that decryption need to be done and firewall inspect unencrypted connections so we have visibility to see those connections now once that is done the firewall encrypt those connection that part is missing here what I'm saying that will happen and it's sent to the server and that way the communication established. If the rules are not matched, say no, the connection is not inspected because that is something not you have set up and you wanted to see. Right? Similarly, if you see the outbound, let's understand what do you mean by outbound connection. So basically the connection which you initiated from your internal servers, that servers which is into the DMZ or what other servers, what other things you have inside your premises or you have a client inside your premises and the server is at the outside, internal side. Those connections, but basically the connection need to be initiated from your inside network behind the firewall to the outside world. So that connection is also get inspected. We can uh, checkpoint refer that term as outbound connection. So connection initiated from your inside network to the outside world is nothing but your outbound connection. All right. Just uh, we are going to read the content. What what they have specified here for the outbound. The HTTPS inspection protects internal users and perimeter servers from malicious attacks coming from the internet on a connection originated from the inside the organization. Outbound connections are HTTPS connections that start from an internal client and connect to the internet. The security gateway compares, <coughs> excuse me, compares the HTTPS request to the HTTPS inspection rule base. If the request does not match rule base, the packet is not decrypted. If the request matches an inspection rule, the security gateway makes sure that the certificate from the server in the internet is valid. The security gateway create a new certificate and present to it to the client. When the client create a HTTPS connection to the gateway, there are two HTTPS connections, one of the internal client and one of the server. It can then decrypt and inspect the packet according to the security gateway and the other rule base. The packets are encrypted again and sent to the destination. So it's a similar scenario what we just uh, saw with the inbound. For the outbound, the same two connection got created, but this time connection initiated from the inside your internal network to the outside world. Let's see the flow. <clears throat> flow on the security gateway. Intercept the request. Establish a secure connection with the requested server and validate the certificate using a separate probing connection. Make an inspection or bypass decision based on the rule match using 
information gathered from original connection and server certificate. When a decision to the inspect is made, establish a secure connection with a requested server. Create a new TLS connect uh, certificate for the communication between the security gateway and the client. Send the client the new certificate and continue the TLS negotiation with it. Using the two TLS connection, decrypt the encrypted data received. Inspect the clear text content for all blades set in policy. Inspect the traffic coming from the website into the organization. Encrypt the data again to keep client privacy as data travel to the destination web server resource. And similarly, you can read this thing. The HTTPS request, firewall inspector request, match rule, yes. Use a server certificate and connect to the client. Create a new connection to the server, decrypt the connection and firewall. So it's a similar thing, but it's initiated from your inside right now if you go through this guide and if you wanted to configure the same thing the steps are given here you just have to read this concept content and accordingly you have to just follow the steps it's self-explanatory i know i have to you know go ahead and you know give you the meaning of these things so just read these things and understand what it meant right how you can create the certificate what is the purpose and blah 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 things so guys this is it for this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and press the bell icon so whatever the latestly upload video will come to you as soon as i upload them thanks for watching this video and have a good day